Now another thing we can do is change this definite loop to an indefinite loop. Now that we have a random number and we're counting the cows, maybe I want to go keep up this loop until I picked the cow, small cow, three times. So I can do that by changing this count to a while loop. Let's give that a try. I'm going to drag this up. Always pick true. So what do I want to happen? First of all, I need to pick the condition. I want this to keep going until I have picked three rent the little cow three times. So my condition is going to be um, I have whole numbers and I want it to do while it's less than three. I'm going to keep going. So while my pick my count cows is less than three. So first time it's zero and then it's one and then it's two. When it gets to three, it's finished three cows, then I'm going to stop my loop. And I want all these things to happen inside the loop. I'm going to drag them from count up into the while. I think I got it all there. So now my count loop should be empty and I can just delete it, drag it to the trash. So this is another thing that we learned in this chapter is we have an indefinite loop. We went from a definite to an indefinite loop. And let's run this. Let's see how it goes. It should keep going until I have tiny cows three. And then it stops. So one thing we can do to kind of make it really friendly is add a message at the end. So I can pick the tiny cow and I can have him say something like, yay, the program is finished. Or hooray, I was picked three times. You know, just do something kind of silly. We could just say goodbye. But we have something outside the loop that indicates the program is done. And there we go. The program is finished and it stops. Now we've done almost everything that we, in this program that we've learned so far. The only thing we haven't done is included an event. So our last and final step of this program is to create one more procedure that's going to have all this code in it. It's which, which just doing it all together and then we're going to link it to an event. So let's drag up a do and order tile and put everything, including our variables, our comments, put everything inside this do and order. You know, this is the easiest way to move code. So I'm even going to include my little statement here. I've got everything inside a do and order. And I'm going to drag it to the clipboard. Now I'm going to create, at the scene level, a new procedure. And this is putting it all together, so I'm even going to call it that. Put, lowercase, put it all together. And you can use a different name if you'd like, but something like this. This is all the code, putting it all together. I'm going to drag it from the clipboard in here. And so I just moved everything from my first method into this new procedure. Now I do want to have, I've kept my comment block at the top. And it might be good to have the tiny cat say something like, click on me to start the program. So let's just add that in, and that'll make it all user-friendly. We'll give it some instructions. Now I'm going to create an event. So let's go to event listeners, and I like to use the mouse. I'm going to come here to mouse in the very first one. 
and hopefully remember how to create to program your event. You have to have an if statement. And we want to see if what they clicked on is the tiny cow. I'm going to come down here to the relational s equals equals. And I'm going to pick my tiny cow. And then just pick anything. And I'm going to drag my event over there. So if what I'm clicking on is the tiny cow, then I want to put it all together. And I see put it all together right here. There we go. So now everything should work with the mouse click. I've got my saying. I'm going to click on the tiny cow. And here we go. And it should run until the tiny cow is selected three times. All right, you can just kind of look over your code again. Make sure you understand everything that's happening because this program really does do it all. The only thing we did not do in this program that you've learned to date is a function. We've done absolutely everything else. So there's a lot of things involved in this program. It's really cool. And this is the last one we're going to do before for this chapter. Next, we're going to get into games. So we're going to, the programs are going to look a lot more like this as we move forward. All right. Have a good time. Good luck. We'll see you in Chapter 6.